for the moment, let's leave it at that. We're shifting our focus. Under relentless threats by Mao's noted traditional medicine practitioner, Hemchand Manji said he would return his Padma Shri award. Manji, popularly referred as Vaidyaraj, also declared to discontinue his engagement as traditional medicine practitioner. He's carried on for nearly 50 years. The situation, in fact, has been quite concerning for some time now. However, the breaking point came on Sunday when Maoists torched two mobile towers in Chameli and Gardan villages and scattered leaflets accusing Manji of acting as an agent of Amdai mines and threatening to kill him. And the recovered pamphlets carried an image of Manji receiving the Padma Shri from President Draupadi Murmu in April. But important to note, after constant Maoist stress and his nephew being killed in December, Manji shifted to Nairanpur town, 40 kilometers away from his village in Chote Dungar. All right, that is essentially the latest that we're picking up as far as this decision been taken uh, by Hemchand Manji. In fact, he's popularly known as Vaidyaraj and uh, this is amid uh, threats that he has received. We understand that this decision of his is coming through. But uh, we're also picking up that the situation has been concerning for quite some time now. But the breaking point in this particular situation is when uh, we are learning that Maoists had torched two mobile towers in Chameli and Garden villages in the particular region where he stays. And they had scattered leaflets accusing Manji of acting as an agent and threatening to kill him. So in the viewpoint of the same, we are picking up. This is why that decision could have perhaps been taken. Taken. Um, the recovered pamphlets, we understand, also carried an image of uh, Manji receiving the Padma Shri from Draupadi Murmu. This was sometime in the month of April. And uh, But important to note here, you're looking at the visuals, of course, of uh, the fact that he did receive uh, the same by President Draupadi Murmu. But important to note, as far as this entire matter is concerned, that after constant threats, that is, his nephew was killed in December and Manji had shifted to the Narayanpur town, which is 40 kilometers away from his village in Chote Dongar. But at the same time, clearly, this situation is not getting better, which is why this decision could have perhaps been taken by him. We'll continue to track that in a lot more this morning. But for the moment, time for a quick break on the big story. Stay with us. We're going to be right back with lots more.